Morris. Yeah. Molly Alderman. Yeah. I don't know what they're saying. What you want? Hi everyone, happy Sunday to you. I hope that wherever you are, I hope that you have been enjoying your Sunday or whatever day you happen to be watching this video. I hope that you are enjoying your day, whether you have gone out or stayed in. I hope that it has been truly enjoyable for you. Today, it has been a beautiful Sunday. What have we done so far? Well, we went to church this morning, and um, I came home and got a little bit of work done. My husband left to also um, get some work done. I just dropped my oldest son off at the barber shop and took my two younger boys to Starbucks to get cake pops, and I got some tea um, for myself along with a cake pop. And we are um, headed back into the house now, and I'm going to get some more work done. And then um, I'll probably be working for a few hours, probably like for the next five hours. So I don't have um, the time for a long chit-chat, but I love coming in on Sundays and just saying hello. And I love just popping in to just talk to you just about whatever kind of is on my mind and getting your feedback. I got some great feedback on the last um, chit chat. Um, so um, yeah, the last chit chat, which the last one was, um, oh, I know what I'm thinking of. I got some great feedback on the last chit chat. Yes. Talking about um, self care, but also my last um, Thursday video, I got some great feedback about being um, intentional about our happiness. If you missed that, I will um, leave a link to that um, happy, being intentional happiness video. I will leave a link to it in the description box. And um, at the end of this video, I will leave um, a picture of um, the last chit chat. So if you missed that and you're interested, you can... Um, click on that as well but I just wanted to come in and say hello and um, wish you well for the week wish you well for the week and if last week didn't go so well for you then um, hey let's reboot and start um, fresh for this week I know sometimes you know life things can kind of be rocky things can be up and down um, sometimes there are internal factors that really impress upon the type of day or the type of week we have. And there are also sometimes some external things that um, really challenge us. And so I am very much aware that we are all kind of in, you know, different walks of life where we have similarities, but I know we're in different places and different phases in life and, um, I'm feeling really good right now. Things are really good. Um, I feel I'm in a really good place, and I hope that you are too. But if you don't feel like you are in a good place, then always know that you have the opportunity right now to pivot. That's one of my favorite words, pivot. Don't let the grass grow under your feet. Don't let the grass grow beneath your feet. Always be able to pivot when you need to pivot sometimes you can get stuck on a thing and when the season is up it's hard to move but you got to know how to move in order to keep going with the flow of life and not get stuck there are a lot of things in my life that I want to see evolve um, there are a lot of things that I still you know I still have goals I still have things that I want to see but at the same time however I I'm also um, content. Um, I think I heard Bob Proctor say contentment, we should be content but not satisfied. And so um, I always want to evolve and I always want to grow and I always want to stretch and reach. My husband and I had a very good conversation a couple of weeks ago and it was a bit of an emotional conversation. For those of you who are married, I'm sure you can relate that every once in a while you have these big, huge discussions and a lot of things come up and a lot of things come out. And it was a hard talk. It was one of those talks that felt like it was about five hours long. However, so much good came out of it. Um, 
one of the things that we talked about was, hey, what is our vision? And I had a video recently about my vision board, which I will also link <laughs> in the description box. But we talked about um, putting a vision board together for our marriage and making sure that we remain on the same page as it relates to our vision. And another thing that we talked about was um, strengths and weaknesses. And instead of fault finding, instead of pointing out each other's weaknesses, let's put the our strengths to work. So if your strength is um, finding a good deal, then why put the person who's weak on that? You know, even if it crosses um, what we would consider to be certain gender roles, you know, Sometimes you can cross over those things if that's not your strength and it's your spouse's strength. So we had a lot of good things to come out of that conversation. And um, we've been married for going on 17 years now. And so I really just feel like out of that conversation, so much good came out of it. We talked about how to love one another, you know, like at finding out what it is to me that translates into love. What can he do to express love? And what can I do for him daily to express love? And it's really helped us to just be on the same page across the board. I feel like we are um, working better as a team and it's just been really good. And so I just feel like I'm in a good place, you know, a good place. And, um, I just want to say to you, if you are in a great place, then continue to just be grateful, continue to wake up and say thank you all day long. Anything that you can think of that you see, continue to be grateful and say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because it really does open up the windows for the blessings to flow. Um, be open to share and to give out of that gratitude to um, those that the creator puts in your life. That's another great way to live. And if you feel like you're not in the best place right now, still, same thing applies. Be grateful. Um, count your blessings. Say thank you. It's the same way you would if you felt like you were in a good place. And be willing to listen and receive what it is that you need. Ask for what you need. Ask for the answers that you need. And open your heart to be able to receive them and be grateful for receiving them, even if you don't necessarily receive an answer right then. I just want to encourage you. just want to encourage you, to, wherever you are, if the birds are singing <laughs> and you're floating on cloud nine, I want to encourage you. But if it's raining and there's a dark cloud over you, I want to encourage you as well that what is that song? What is it that says, um, what is it? The, the sunshine, what is it? The, 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 the sunshine comes in the morning. I can't think of what it is, but the basis of it is that, um, trouble doesn't last always. And sometimes what feels like, um, a difficult time or what feels like trouble is sometimes the answer that we've been asking for, it just has come in a way that we didn't expect it to come. And sometimes the answer to what we want, the answer to what we need is embedded in that thing that seems to be such a challenge for us and getting over it is actually a way to receive that answer. And so I like to look at life in um, different perspectives and I don't like to look at things that are a little bumpy because that conversation that I had with my husband a couple weeks back it was kind of bumpy it was kind of rough but at the end of it all so much good came out of it so many answers came out of it so much growth came out of it even though it was like ripping off a bandage <laughs> so much good came out of it so it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful beautiful day and I didn't have anything in particular to talk about. I just wanted to um, come on and say, hey, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. And I'm going to get in here and get some work done. I should not have this much work to do. I actually try to get my work done um, before Sunday. That's always kind of my goal or my intention. 
but I just haven't figured out how to do that <laughs> yet. I haven't, well, I figured it out, but I just haven't, um, executed. I haven't, um, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> so many things I kind of let get in the way during the week and I end up having several hours of work to do on the weekend. And today I think I have, I've worked about three hours already and I think I have about five more to go and then I should be finished. And I could have gotten all, everything I needed to do done earlier, but that's something I'm working on, um, is just getting all of those things in place. Um, my cleaning routine has helped though. I've been using that fly lady. Let me know if you use the fly lady cleaning routine. I tweak it. I don't think I do it exactly the way she says, but, um, I, I've, I've, I've taken the concept and I've taken the zones and, you know, how she has everything broken down and I've sort of just tweaked it and kind of spread it out a little bit throughout the day and it has just been wonderful. And, and that routine has really helped me to be able to increase my work hours and it's just really helped me to just be more on point with my time. But I have some other things that I need to work on still, like that novel, that novel. But anyway, anyway, ladies, just wanted to... Um, check in, say hello, and also drop that bit of encouragement that just came out of my spirit, sort of impromptu. So I guess that means that someone needed to hear it. But I thank you so much for watching. And thank you um, for those of you who've been watching the chit chats and giving me the feedback. I really love reading the comments. I, I just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy interacting with you. So wherever you are today, whatever you're doing, I'm sending you love. I'm sending you positive vibes. I'm lifting you in prayer. And I'm praying that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Be happy, live full, love life. Have a happy, happy, blessed day. And I'll see you in the next video, which will hopefully be very soon.